Mark all the holes in the center. Tap all four holes that you marked. Pull out your drill and your 1 8th drill bit and drill out all four tapped holes. After you drilled out the four holes, switch drill bits, go to the 3 16th drill bit, drill out the 1 8th holes with the 3 16th. Go and grab the plate, bottom plate for this. Bolt through like so. Take it underneath. Yeah. Wash it on the top. Hand tight. So make sure you go through that bottom plate. Up to the top. Wash it on top. Tighten all four bolts. Now, go and grab your ski. Put it in the rack. Like so. Grab the ladder bracket and the ratchet. And place it on the tunnel. There'll be nothing behind it getting in the way, any suspension components or anything. Looks good there. Now, I'm gonna mark a hold in the bracket where I wanna mount this. One. Two. And remove the ski. Go and grab your hammer and punch. Punch out the two marked holes. Now pull out your 1 8 drill bit and drill. Switch the drill bits from the 1 8 to the 3 16 and drill out the two holes you drilled. Rivet. Put the washer on the rivet. And rivet that piece on there. Grab the other rivet washer. Rivet that on there. So now, go and grab your ski, slide it in, bracket, strap over, ratchet down. Now, where the ski is hitting the snowmobile, we're going to grab this, slide this piece under here. Go and grab your Sharpie, mark on the running board where exactly this piece is going to be mounted. Okay, take the ski out of the bracket, put the U channel here in the mark spot on your running board, grab your marker pen, mark in the middle where it goes, go and grab your punch and hammer, punch out in the mark spot on your running board. Go and grab your 1 8 drill bit. Drill into the mark punch spot on your running board. Switch to the 1764 drill bit. Grab your bolt, slide it through the middle. 
Clip the bottom, the washer on, and now lock nut. Then go and grab four mil Allen head. Your socket driver with a 716 socket. And tighten it on there. Slide your ski in. Once you get the ski in, put your pole on top of your ski like so. Bring the right strap over the top. Ratchet down tight. Something to think about when you're carrying skis, snowboards, gas, whatever on the back of your snowmobile is that on icy, bumpy conditions, the uh, snowmobiles aren't designed to be carrying excess weight in the back. So you really want to make sure that if you're on icy, bumpy roads, to take it easy in the morning, slow down. The suspension works great on the machines, but when you're carrying extra weight, um, you, could, you could cause some damage to the back of your tunnel if you're going fast and bumpy on bumpy trails.